In this video, we're going to take a look at non-permissible values and see what causes a point of discontinuity and what causes a vertical asymptote. So to do this, we're going to take a look at these two functions here. So you can see that the only difference is that one is a plus 3x in the numerator and the other one's a minus 3x in the numerator. But the denominator is the same. So we're going to look at this graphically and then algebraically um, to explain any differences. So to begin with, because both of them have a 4x minus 12, I'm going to start with identifying the non-permissible value. So we know that 4x minus 12 can't equal 0, so 4x can't equal 12, and x can't equal 3. Now it doesn't matter whether it's the first function, f of x, or the second function, g of x, but because the denominators are the same, we're going to have the same non-permissible value of 3. So let's take a look at what this looks like on the graph and calculator. So to do this, we're going to take a look at Desmos here. So with Desmos, I can see, uh, I'm going to turn this one off first. The first graph is my red one, and that's the plus 3x. So I can see that there's two parts, and there's a vertical asymptote probably down the middle here. Um, that's why the graph is going um, infinitely up on the left and infinitely down on the right. Now when I turn on the blue graph, I can see it's a straight line. And it doesn't seem like there's anything special about this graph. However, I'm going to drag my pen, and I can see that these are all the x and y values here. But as I drag my pen close to 3, I can see that at 3, it is undefined, actually. Now, I can only do that because I know that it's undefined. So let me try to point that again. So at 3, it's undefined. Now, on the graph, you don't actually see a hole here. But what I want to do is when I graph this, I do want to graph a hole to identify that there is a, a gap there. So I'm going to go back to the notes here. And I'm going to draw in my x and y axis. And so that I'm kind of copying and mimicking this. So this graph, the red one, goes a little bit above, hits a zero, and then comes back down. Okay, so it's gonna go a little bit above, hit zero, and then come back down. And then on the right, it will do something like this. Actually, it's a little bit more curved, so let me erase that and draw it like this. And for the other graph, which I'll draw in blue, it was a straight line, it went through zero, and it did that. But I am going to draw a point of discontinuity at three, because it was undefined there. Now the window that I use, it doesn't really matter here, but I'm going to pretend that it was centered at negative 10 to 10 on both of the graphs. All right, so just a little comment here. The non-permissible value for both f of x and g of x, so I'll just say both functions, is x equal to 3. The graph on the left, which is the f of x, is undefined at x equal to 3, so it's undefined, whereas the graph on the right does not exist. at x equals 3. All right, let's take a look at a little bit more of the characteristics of the graph. So we notice that the non-permissible values for both is x equals 3. Now, when we take a look at this first graph, the one on the left, the non-permissible value is that it creates a vertical asymptote, whereas the graph on the right, it creates a point of discontinuity. Okay, so let's fill in this chart here. So the non-permissible value for both is x equals 3. The feature for the left one 
was a vertical asymptote. Whereas the feature for the second one was a point of discontinuity. Now, we can see that for the vertical asymptote, as x approaches 3, the absolute value of y becomes very large. So like I had said before, we can see that the graph goes off and off into positive infinity going up and then negative infinity going down. So the question is, well, what's happening at x equals 3? Now if I use my graph here, it just says it's undefined. So we're actually going to figure out what that value is. All right, so in order for us to do this, I'm going to do a little bit of work here. So if I compare the two, f of x equal to x squared plus 3x divided by 4x minus 12, I can actually factor my numerator and denominator. So I'm going to do that. So I get x and times x plus 3, 4, and x minus 3. Okay, nothing interesting happens but I know that x cannot equal 3. In the g of x, I have x squared minus 3x divided by 4x minus 12. And again, I can factor. So I get x times x minus 3 divided by 4 times x minus 3. Ah, this time I can see that my binomial x minus 3 can cancel the numerator and the denominator. So I'm left with x divided by 4. However, x cannot equal 3, because according to the original question, the denominator was 4x minus 12. However, now that I have my new function here, when I plug in 3, I can see that g of 3 would equal 3 over 4. Let's compare this to what's happening on the graph. So if I look here, as so at 2, I'm going to check and look for my y value. So it's 0 0.4, it's 0 0.5, 0 0.55, 0 0.59, 0 0.61, 0 0.66, 0 0.67. And as I get close, I'm almost there. It's 0 0.725 at 2.91. And then it becomes undefined. And then on the other side, notice it's 0 0.752 at 3.01. So it does seem like it's approaching 0.75, which it does. So going back to here, let me write a little note. So g of x has a point of discontinuity. So it has a point of discontinuity at 3 and three-fourths because the numerator and denominator have a common factor of x minus 3. So I can say that the behavior near the non-permissible value is that now as x approaches 3, we can say that y actually approaches 3 over 4. Now to finish this off, let's comment about f of x. So f of x has a vertical asymptote. At x equals 3 because x minus 3 is a factor of the denominator but not the numerator. And so it doesn't cancel off and so that it doesn't disappear. So x minus 3 is always a factor so x cannot equal 3. And whereas the second one, it does disappear, so it seems like it's not there anymore. So we simply only have x divided by 4 as our function. But we do need to go back to the original question where the denominator was 4x minus 12. And we do see that the, there was a non-permissible value 
of three.